cladding module, the component of Roof Wizard that allows you to do uh, metal fibro, uh, metal or fibro cladding, uh, window and door corner trim, complete clad lists and client proposals. So the first thing we need to do is uh, to develop a, an outline of um, where the walls will go. So we select our wall menu and uh, our track wall options. This is very similar to our roofing software and those familiar with Roof Wizard will uh, recognize the, uh, the the tools that we have here. So um, defining our wall outline, we'll go up 15, right 20, um, up 18, uh, right 30, down 25, and uh, left 16 and close square. Same process as um, occurs with our roofing. We use the close function to verify that we've used the correct measurements. If these measurements don't match the plan, then someone's made a mistake somewhere. If we're satisfied with the outline, we uh, select Finish or F for Finish, and uh, we now have a wall perimeter. If we look at that in isometric view, and you will find that um, working with our wall software, um, that you're uh, better off working in isometric view, you get a much better view of what's going on. So um, in isometric, uh, the first thing we want to do was give the walls height. So we do that by projecting the walls. We can project up or down and by specified amounts, and we can uh, selectively project individual walls. But in our case, we'll select the whole lot, and uh, we'll project them down 10 foot 6. So we'll go bang, and there we have it. So there are our walls. Uh, straight away, the software knows um, all about the, the line categories that are defining this wall, the wall top, the wall corners, the wall base, and so on. So we, we know precisely where we're at with anything. Typically, the next thing you might do is um, insert windows or doors. Uh, you can use a defined library of doors um, or windows from specific manufacturers, and that's simply a matter of um, uh, defining the size and uh, saving them away with a predefined name. But in an event, uh, we can do random windows and doors as well. So let's put a door in the wall there. Um, there we go. We might put a window over here just for something to play with. In this a big window. Now let's put a window over here and we'll make this one say a 3 by 8 oops, sorry, 8 by 3 and uh, and OK and so and so you go around the you're building adding uh, openings. Um, the, uh, the next thing that you, you might uh, find necessary to do uh, occasionally um, well often I suppose um, the the bottom of the building or the top of the building has to follow a particular uh, contour. So let's say, for example, that this um, this wall has to follow a land contour, and we can just redefine the base of the wall, and the software goes ahead and recreates it. So um, you can do that by digitizing or tracking, as I just did uh, the digitizing function of it there. So um, let's uh, let's assume now that there's our wall with all its openings and the redefined edges. Um, you might also um, need to put a gable end in. So let's a uh, simple matter of saying put a gable end in in there, and um, maybe uh, uh, those two edges are merged, so you're able to uh, merge them or keep them as separate areas. Um, the uh, next process would be to uh, select our panel from our list of panels. Uh, we come down here to a panel that I've got, which is uh, in inches. Here we go. And uh, so this is a corrugated panel, and it's uh, 36 inches wide. That's the most important thing to check at this point. So we hit OK, and uh, then we generate the wall panels. Now, in doing so, the software says, hey, Jack, you've got to save this away first of all, so let's save it away. And um, and there we have our, um, our layout with our wall panels. Now, uh, it uh, may be that the wall panels are, are not all horizontal to the uh, the baseline. Uh, perhaps the um, the wall panels are vertical, so it's simply a matter of of uh, selecting the wall and um, and the wall panels are, are realigned to uh, your requirement. That's uh, quite a simple process with doing that. So at that point, you'd probably say, "Okay, there's my job. Uh, let's generate the uh, cutting list." So we have a cutting list for our all our roof, uh, sorry, our wall panels, um, and uh, that's ready to go to our um, to our order form. Um, the next thing you'd probably do is generate a cut list for our flashing. So we generate a cutting list for all our trim. So there's a cut list for all our trim for this job. Easy. 
and uh, and then um, supply and install. So there's a proposal for the uh, the, the entire structure, um, complete list of all the materials, uh, accessory items, and, and um, allowances and and fasteners, the whole deal. Simply select print, select the re uh, report you wish to print. So we might go to a quote form and uh, hit print. Now I'm not going to print, I'm not connected to your printer, so I'll cancel that. Uh, we also have available a whole bunch of uh, uh, standard drawings. So in this case, you typically, uh, with a wall wall job, you'd, uh, where's our walls? Uh, you'd probably do a wall plan, you'd probably do wall elevations, and again, select OK, and it goes straight out to your printer on a predefined template. So um, there we have it. Um, that's uh, as hard or as easy as it is, I guess. Um, the whole job is ready to go, a complete cutting list, all materials, and a complete client proposal for your customer. Um, that basically sums up the wall cladding software, and if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at any time. Thanks for your time.